are you ready? Are you ready for today's class? Are you ready? How many of us are ready? If you are ready, just let me know. Let's know. Let's know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So cheers to you guys. I forgot to okay, let's toast. Cheers to you guys. Now let's get started. Let's get started. Right, let's get started. Okay, let's start from the basics. Let's start from the introduction. Let's start from the basic introduction to our class. Right? Let's start from the basic introduction to our class. So I'm going to start from my first slide. This is my slide. I believe everybody can see my screen. Can you all see my screen? Can you all see my screen? Yes, no, no, yes. Can you all see my screen? Okay, someone said I can't hear, they can't hear me. Nice one, nice one. So, okay, 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 okay. I believe you all can see my screen. So let's get started. What is the future of data analysis? Okay, let's move forward. What does data analysis mean? Right, but I want to use this opportunity to officially officially and officially welcome to the data analysis webinar brought to you by Digital World Tech Academy. Brought to you by Digital World Tech Academy. So let's talk about our basic intro. So embracing, yeah, you said it. Oh, sorry, thank you, thank you, Trent, thank you. So I said this class is going to be in three sections. The very first section is going to be what? The theory section. Right, where we are going to talk about the theory, right? We are going to talk about the importance of data analysis, every other thing that you need to know. We are going to talk about that in the very first section, which we are about to start now. Then the second section is the practical section where we do where we work on Excel. Practically, we work on Excel. We do analysis together, we do it together, right? Um, then after that, we move to the question and answer section. I would love to speak with all of you. Here you can unmute and we will talk to each other right you can unmute then we'll talk to each other so that is the, those are the three sections that we are going to do in today's class so a glimpse into the future of data analytics field right so let's see a glimpse about the host who is this black guy talking who is this you can see me here yeah, this is me and my black face right as you can see i am kind of black right or dark anyone so, but my name is Sani Akim Abiyodun. You can just call me Akim or you can call me Abiyodun. You can call me Akim Abiyodun, right? Any of the ones that you like, just call me, right? So, I'm, a, I'm the host, right? I am the host. And I will be taking you through this journey together with me, right? So, I am a computer instructor and also a digital marketer, not just a digital marketer. I'm a lot of things, right? I'm a data analyst and data scientist. I'm a digital marketer. I am into cyber security. I am into a whole lot of things. I don't even know every bit. I'm into a whole lot of things. Just ask me, then I'm ready to give it for you, right? So I work with Digital World Tech Academy, and at Digital World Tech Academy, we've been able to train more than 5,000 students last year, both online and offline. So we train people online and offline at our physical locations. Some people say they cannot hear me. I believe every other person can hear me. I believe every other person can hear me. Some people say they can't hear me. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Yes, no, no, yes. Can you all hear me? Okay, 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 okay. Nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay. Now, like I said, we train people online and offline. So we train people and organization on different packages, working with Microsoft Office packages, data analysis, data science, um, digital marketing, cyber security and many every other aspect whatever you want to learn just mention we are ready to teach you and in 2023 we're able to train more than 3,000 students physically and more than 5,000 online with two organizations that was last year and this year we've done much more than that we've done much more than that okay so let's move forward let's let's continue with this our introduction right about the institute you can see my team here is my team and this is me and my face cap beats my teeth right you can see me right here um this is me right here and my team member at our 
Kurudu branch. So, about the institute, Digital World Tech Academy is an online and physical learning platform. I've been meaning to change this thing since I don't know. <laughs> it's only God that knows, but I just don't know why I did not change it. So, online and physical learning platform with the aim of make the, making the tech skill affordable and accessible to everyone, not just to you alone, but to everyone. Right? And our mission is kind of very simple is to make computer education very accessible and affordable to Nigerian and Africa in general. In general, general. Okay, so we are done with introduction. So now let's go, let's go, let's go into the glimpse into the data analytics future. So, like we all know, data is no longer just a byproduct of our digital life, right? It is the fuel powering innovation, decision making, and competitive advantage across industry. The future of data analysis promises to be a remarkable one, driven by emerging trends and technology that are redefining the way we interact. Right now, let me just ask you this question: How many of us has gone to social media today? Probably you've gone to Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere. How many of us has been to? Um, don't lie, you don't lie. Let's say the truth. I'm not going to beat you. I'm not going to flood you. Uh, how many of us has been to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or anything? You've gone to Instagram today, okay, nice one. What about others, what about others? I believe almost all of us have gone there today. Okay, we have someone who said me, okay. A whole lot of people spend, they, they spend time, countless time on Instagram or Facebook or, okay, okay, we have three people, we have just four people, okay, Instagram, people say me, okay, that can say me, okay. What about others, don't lie now, let's talk. Visit all today, Josie. Nice one. Cheery, all, only you. Okay, you now be asking why is empty and sucking my data or else? Right? That is it. You visit all the social media in one day. Facebook, you sleep on Instagram. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, LinkedIn. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. All right. Okay. They finish my data. <laughs> they will finish your data now. LinkedIn, S, and Instagram. Okay, now. We visited all these social media. What we do here is we are giving them data, right? We are giving them data. So for me, as, as a digital marketer, I know that you visited Facebook, you visited Instagram, you go to Twitter, you go to it. So I can really target you because Facebook has your data. So the moment you like, you comment, you share, or any of the moment you take any of these action, if you just log into Facebook, you've given them a data. Right, okay, this person active. As I'm speaking now, there are over 2 billion users on Facebook that are currently active right now, right? And don't say I'm too fast. Wow, am I too fast? Sorry for that. Okay, let's take it slow. So like I said, there are over 2 billion users on Facebook that are active right now, and that is giving Facebook data. So that is why they would need you as an analyst to see, to analyze their data. So mere looking at the data does not give any sense. Looking at the data, just mere looking at the data does not really give any sense. You need someone that can bring sense out of that large amount of data. Let me just show you something. So if I open my Excel spreadsheet now, and I just decide to open just one spreadsheet, let me just open one spreadsheet. Let me just say, I just open this spreadsheet. So if I just open this spreadsheet, as you're looking at it, it does not make any sense, right? It does not make any sense at all. I, it's a data analyst that will bring sense out of this data, right? It's the work of a data analyst to bring sense out of this data. Now, as you are going to those social media, you are giving them information. Now, what are the information? They are the data. We have a lot of people that post videos on Instagram. They are giving them data. Now, the, you post picture, you are giving them data. You like, you comment, you share. Like, you are giving them data. Now, data is part of our life. Without any data, without data, no company can make any progressive information. So I was with my team today, and we are having a meeting. So as we, are, we were having a meeting, we were talking about our income. Now, how do we get notes? the amount we are generating, if there is no data, right? If there is no data, we won't know the ones that, the courses that are giving us income, 
We won't know the location where we are getting our students from. You are not, there's no way you can know it, right? That's because we can make this decision because we have our data ready. And how can we make this decision? That's because we have an analyst that can do that for us. Me, as an analyst, I can bring out information from a data, mere looking at it, right? And we are going to do it together today. So let's talk about the transformative power of data analytics. What is the transformative power of data analytics? So let's move forward. Let's move forward. So data analysis evolution. So how do we come from a traditional way to becoming the top skill right now? If I can tell you as of today, as of today, one of the other skills that you can learn is data analysis and data science, right? You need to, you can learn cyber security is one of the other skills, but if data analysis is not the first, is the second in this whole world, right? Because it's like it's the highest growing field in this world. Data analysis grow by twenty five percent within just ten years, right? So it's the fastest, which is much more than the average of any other tech field. So it's the highest, right? It's one of the hottest calls you can learn right now. No matter the country you are, you need a data analysis field. No matter the field, you need a data analysis skill rather. So no matter the field you are, you need a data analysis field. So data analysis has come a long way from traditional reporting. Now, before all we do is data entry. We just do data entry and we pass it to um, our bosses to check it, right? Just data entry, that's what we do. Now, but now data analysis has moved from traditional reporting to advanced predictive and prescriptive analysis. Now, we can write an algorithm that can predict what will happen, right? The, it, like, I think last month, I, know, I wrote an algorithm that uh, a company gave me a data set um, of like about 10 years data set, and I used it to train the computer and write an algorithm that can predict a data, that can predict an information of about five years ahead, right? We can write all those things using data analysis software. So it has become an integral part of decision making in this modern day, right? In this connected economy. Why do I call it connected economy? Because right here, in your location, we have a lot of people from, we have some people from US, we have, a, we have people from Ukraine, we have quite a lot of people from Ghana, and we have a whole lot of people from Nigeria also. And I've not seen you before. You are just meeting me for the first time, right? This is what we call connected economy, right? That is why you are here. You are wherever. I don't know where you are right now. You can see me and you can hear me talking to you. That is because we are in connected economy. And in this connected economy, data is flying all around. As you are on Zoom now, we are giving Zoom data, right? So if Zoom is running an advert, they might probably target you, right? Because you are using Zoom, we are giving them data. As we are right now, we are giving Zoom data. As we are live, other people are also live, doing their own thing, right? So they are giving Zoom data. And without a data analyst, there is no way Zoom can know that, okay, this is where most of our audience are coming from, right? So you see the importance of data analysis. So let's move forward. So what do we mean by data explosion? Data explosion is basically how the data grows, right? As we all know, data is growing at an unprecedented rate. It's not something that we can just predict. There are over 2 billion data uploaded on the internet on a daily basis. As you are posting, thousands of people are posting. As you are commenting, thousands of people are commenting. As you are liking a post, thousands of people are liking a post, right? As you are snapping picture on your phone, as you are snapping picture on your phone, a whole lot of people back up their pictures on Google Drive. That is giving Google information, right? So if I have access to your email, um, as, as, um, as a cyber security expert, I can access your email and see all your pictures because they are backed up on your Google Drive. That's because I can have access to it, right? Google are getting your picture as they are, as you are backing it up on your Google Drive. That's the data. They can see those information. 
the right, right? Data is how many of us we we snap picture every day. How many of us still snap picture today? Like before, you know, you've seen them carrying camera like this, doing like this, doing like this. They snap every day, especially ladies. How many of us snap picture? How many of us are snap picture today? If you know, ladies, I know, don't lie. Ladies are very good with this. Before you know, every day, whenever I see my status like this, ladies, they are in the office, snapping, snapping. You will see them posting. They are not like me. Me, I don't snap picture on daily basis, right? I snap picture once in a while. In fact, I, I can count the number of pictures that I've snapped this year. So how many of us snap picture today or this week? How many of us have snap picture today or this week? Ladies, you are here. If you like, I will come to your house. We are going to throw boxing. Is it that you remove your my teeth or I remove your teeth? <laughs> okay, you snap up your tight teeth just today. Wow. Just today alone. 30 pictures. Wow, you try though. Are you a photographer? <laughs> okay, nice one. Now, as you are snapping those pictures, a lot of pictures, yes. Yeah. As you are snapping those pictures, Google has the info. As you are snapping it, you are posting it on Instagram, you are posting it on Facebook, you are giving them data. You are part of the people that are giving out over billions of data in a day. And as you are giving, Franca, more than 60, wow. And as you are giving those information out, Google needs an analyst that can predict, the few, uh, that can get information with the picture, they will know what you like. They can guess any information that you like, right? So data, data is growing at an unprecedented rate, like I said, and you are part of those people that always give those information, driven by the connected devices and digital interaction, right? If you go to Facebook, if you go to WhatsApp, you send picture, you send uh, messages, right? You go to Facebook to send messages. You are giving them data, making effective data analysis more crucial than ever. As we are in data digital economy right now, right? As you are in digital economy, uh, like connected economy, right? We are giving more data to others. We are giving more data to this organization, and that is why. That is why they are. That is why um, they need a data analyst. To get those information, right? Um, this user, please, um, someone said I should tell other people to turn off their camera. You can just minimize it and or remove it totally. So it's not it's not um a problem. You can just minimize it on your own screen. More than seventy. Wow, nice one. Why are you lying? Seventy picture. Wow. Okay. What is the evolving role of a data analyst? What are the role of a data analyst? So unlocking the power of a complex Unlocking the power of the of a um, unlocking the power of data, sorry, is a complex task. It's not something that is so easy. We are looking at something like this. Looking at something like this, data, right? Looking at data like this is not something that is kind of very, very easy for you to bring out information. But I'm going to show you how easy it is for data analysts to bring out information from a data that looks scary like this. So looking at this data, you don't get any information. Right? You don't get any information mere looking at it. Mere looking at it. You don't get any information if you don't know anything about data. Right? So, and data analyst, you are the superhero as a data analyst who make it happen. Right? But with technology advancing faster than a, than a speeding bullet, the role of data analyst is evolving at a lightning speed. Right? A data analyst role is very, very evolving. It's moving very, very fast. Gone are those days, like I said earlier, where we simply collect and organize data. We are no more that, right? We don't just collect data and do data entry, right? We have gone far, far beyond that. Today, data analysts are responsible, responsible for designing a complex algorithm, creating a captivating visualization using data. Now, the data analyst future scope is bright and has a thrilling opportunity for those who love technology and analytics. So let's move forward. Let's move forward. Another question that people always ask is, are data analysts in demand? Are data analysts in demand? That is a question that people always ask. So 
let me also join the people that go to social media. So, um, let me go to Facebook. Let me go to um, Google, our old friend Google. Um, you can you can just minimize it. You can just minimize it, sir. So, uh, let's go to Google and check our data analysts in demand. Let's ask our old friend Google, our data analysts in demand. So let's ask. Now, data analysis role are in high demand across industries. They are in high demand across all industries. As companies increasingly rely on data-driven insights to guide their strategies, right? So they, they really rely on data analytics. They rely, before anybody can make any progressive decision, they must have a data. As AI takes over routine tasks, it frees up data analysis to focus on higher level strategic work like, like identifying trends and supporting decision making. So let me now go to my own slide. Okay, let me go to my slide now. So let me go to my slide and let's read from my own slide. Data analysts are in high demand in today's job market. They are in high demand. And this trend is expected to continue well into the future. According to United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, right, employment of data analysis and other related occupation is projected to grow by 33% from 2010 to 2030, 33%, which is much more faster than the average of all other occupations in this our tech field, is growing more faster than all other occupations. As we all know, just take from 2020 to this year, that is 2020 to 2024. Look how high it has grown. Look at it. Just look at how people are demanding for data analysis. So the demand for data analysis can be attributed to the increased importance of decision making in businesses and organizations of all sizes. As a result, data analysts are playing an essential role in shaping the strategic direction of businesses across various industries, from healthcare to finance to retail, different industries. Another reporting from IBM. So if you are using SPSS, I think SPSS is developed by IPM also. It's estimated to grow um, uh, that by 2025, the, there will be over 2.7 million job postings. 2.7 million job postings for data analysts and data scientists just in US alone. So let's go to our old friend and let's see um, data analyst job posting. Let's just see and see if I'm right or not data analyst job posting data analyst job posting so let's search you see just in lagos alone in lagos nigeria alone there is over 100,000 job posting just in lagos alone just in lagos alone just in lagos alone they are not the whole of Nigeria. This is because I'm in Lagos, right? You can see my location. I'm in Lagos. Just in Lagos alone, there are results for Lagos. 105,102, right? Job posting just in Lagos alone. How will you tell me that you won't get a job? In fact, if you are not getting a job, you can, if you don't want to work for an organization, just like me, you can go to Fiverr, off work, and get a job ready. You can get. So, yeah. Just in Lagos, we have junior data analysts. If you are just getting started, this is where we all start from. You will start from junior data analyst, right? It's until you have skill, right? Then we have another one here. You have 47 more here, just on Google. And you can go to um, LinkedIn, go to different, different platforms to get jobs, right? To get jobs. So let's move forward. Out of data, be back. Okay, no problem, Taku. We will be expecting you back. So why is data analytics the future of everything? Someone asked me that, um, are you guys with me? Are you enjoying this? Are you guys with me? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you learning something? Let me know if you are with me. Are you learning something? Are you here with me? Cheers to you guys. You can have a bottle of water.
Okay, they said I should proceed. I hope it's not boring. Or you think you should add music? Do you add music? You want to see me dancing? You want to see me dancing? You want to see me dancing? No music. Okay. 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 No problem. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Don't worry. This is just theory. We will go into the practical where we are going to do a whole lot of things. Right. Okay. Wish to get the slide. Just send me a DM. I'm going to send it to you. It's, it is light out of here. Yeah, oh, sorry for that. Okay, we should continue flowing. Let's continue flowing. So, now, no music, ma. I am not ma. You are looking at me like this and you are still calling me ma. My voice is like, my voice sounds like a female voice. I won't lie. Right? My voice sounds like a female voice. I won't lie. But I am a sir. My name is Akim. Don't call me ma. Oh, you want me to turn to ladies? Hello, guys. Can you all hear me clearly? <laughs> Can you all hear me clearly? Right? Okay, let me turn to female. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Nice one. <laughs> nice under my voice. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Okay, now, it is a process of analyzing data that has revolutionized many industries and we continue to do so in the future. The days of having to do all your analysis by work, by hand, um, okay, now the days of having to do all your analysis by hand are over, are over. The powerful software make it, turn it to me. The path, these powerful software tools make it easy and very, very fast. You don't even need a PhD in statistics anymore. Simply enter some data and pick out what matters the most from those results, and you are drawn. Simple as that. All you just need is to pick out what matters the most. We call it KPI. We call it KPI. What are KPI? They call the key performance indicator. They are the key metrics. What matters most? In your data, and we are going to do it using you using or possessing such information give you power over the entire sector because any sector that they are going to be giving you the information for free. All you just have to do look at the information, pick out what matters the most, and you are good to go. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. Data is the lifeblood of any modern business, and it speaks typically in its raw form. In its raw form, doesn't make any sense. So me are looking at a data in its raw form like this. Looking at the data in its raw form like this doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense. So let's 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 proceed, right? Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Okay, what are the future of data analysis? Let's do future before meaning of KPI. I said KPI stands for key performance indicator. Key performance indicator. So let's continue. The future of data analysis is here and it is now, and it is also looking bright. With artificial intelligence, machine learning, and blockchain are all driven innovation and revolutionizing the field of data analysis. With AI-powered analytics, business can get a real-time insight into their operation, so they will know how they are operating. They will know where all the key information are coming from, the aspect, the location, the product, right? that are performing very well. And they can detect fraud. You can help them to see some fraudulent activity going on in their data. Imagine in your in business bank account, you have over 10 million. And in your data, you are seeing 20 million. Does that make any sense? Right? You should know that, okay, there is something going on. Right? There is something going on. So you, after analyzing the data, you get 20 million. And you went ahead to check your bank, your company's bank account and you see 10 million. There's something going on, right? So if you don't analyze that data, those data, there is no way you can identify that, okay, there is, a, there is a fraudulent activity going on here. How can we have 10 million in our account and in our data, our sales is showing 20 million? What is that, right? So you can detect those things, right? Okay. Now, and with the help of blockchain, data sharing can be secure, transparent and tamper proof. We will talk about that in cybersecurity. Don't worry, don't worry. 
So don't worry. Okay. So let's move ahead straight forward. So career path for data analysts. What are the career paths for data analysts? Data analysis is expected to radically change the way we live and do businesses in the future. Already today we use analytics in our technology devices for many decisions in our life. Not only how to drive from A to B, right, and also how to avoid traffic jam. Now, uh, most of the people use Google, Google Maps to locate from one place to another. It is an algorithm written by a data scientist, right? It is an algorithm written by data scientists. They will show you where there's traffic or stuff like that. They will reroute you. It is an algorithm written by a data scientist. We call it machine learning algorithm, right? So you can do a whole lot of stuff. So let's see a career path for data analyst. So as a data analyst, what I always say is, if you are starting, don't just jump and start from data scientist and start from data science. The very first step is to start from data analysis. From data analysis, you can become a data scientist. You can decide to even niche down and become a financial analyst, right? You can have your data analysis consultancy um, 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 company. You can do consultation. You can focus, you can niche down to marketing analyst, sales analyst, a whole lot of healthcare analyst. You can decide to niche down. Having this skill alone, you can decide to niche down or you can do the broader version. Like me now, I analyze a whole lot of things. I have, I have, I have, I have a student that works with, um, what is it called? Chemical. We do analysis on chemical, right? We do analysis on healthcare. We do analysis of a whole lot of things. So if, if, you, if you want to be like me, you can do it. Now, you are not only limited. You can decide to switch from one career to another, from one place to another. It is kind of very, very easy. To choose right it is kind of very very easy to choose thank you very much do you learn something in this theory do you, were you able to learn something in this theory were you able to learn and enjoy yourself in this theory before we go into the practical yes or no a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot okay 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 i'm on fire yes i want to put you on fire Fear acknowledge, fear knowledge. Okay, nice one. Nice one, nice one. Yes, truly, 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 truly. Okay, so I want to show you how we work as an analyst, how we work as an analyst. So if you can turn off your camera, you can turn off your camera. Okay, enjoying the vibe. Okay, nice one. Nice one, nice one. Okay, 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 okay. Nice one, nice one, nice one. I couldn't see the last slide. The last slide just said thank you. The last slide just said thank you. Thank you and thank you and thank you. That is what the last slide just said. So I'm opening, we are working with this. This is what we are working with today. Are we ready for the practical? Are we ready for the practical, for the practical? Let's analyze data. Let's analyze data, right? Let's analyze data. Let's do this in practical. So we are all going to analyze this data together. We are all going to analyze this data together. We are, yes, you can get the slide. Just send me a DM. Send me a DM. Send me a DM. Send me a DM. When we are done, I will send it to you. Not now. When we are done with the class, I will send it to you. It's not something that is really hard. I can drop it in the group. Okay, we are running out of data. <laughs> Don't worry, I will buy data for you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the practical? Are we ready for the practical? Okay, I will drop it. I will drop it. Okay, no problem. So, this is a data set. This is a data set that we are going to work with. It's not that much. It's just about 10 to 15, um, um, 10 to 15 columns. It's not that much. So, this is talking about accident. This is talking about crash, right? This is talking about crash. So, the, the day of the week that the crash uh, happened, the crash type is it single or it, or it involve um it involve um what is it called multiple um vehicles right the road user right motorcycle pedestrian passenger who has accident right the gender that gets into the accident right the age of the people that get into the accident so this is just um is there any is it during christmas period is it during easter period Right? Is it during weekend or day or, or day or night? So 
let's get the information out of this data, right? Let's get the information out of this data. And I've just created a small visual right here. I just created a small visual right here that we are going to use. This is just a small visual. So let me quickly show you how we come across all this one. So let's go to our old friend, Mr. Google, and let's go back to Mr. Google, and let's see data, uh, let's see dashboard. We call it dashboard, dashboard template. Let's just see dashboard template, right? Dashboard template. So let's see some of the dashboard templates. So if you can see some of these dashboard, we are going to create one today. Any of you can see how, I'm going to show you how all these things are done. How they, you see all these charts and everything, they are very, very easy to do. They are very, very easy to do. And there is even something in Excel that can even just help you to bring your data out. You don't even have to do a whole lot of things in Excel. There is something that can help you to bring them out. So, let's go. I'm super, super excited to have this one. I love practical. How many of what? I, I really, really love practical. I love practical. So I don't like theory. Okay. Now, let's clean up our data. Let's clean up our environment. This is an Excel spreadsheet. For those of us that are, just, that are new, this is an Excel spreadsheet. I just clean it up and come up with a simple design myself. So let's, let's, let me show you. You love practical too. Okay, so let's go. If you are like me, you love practical. So let's say I want to, I already have what I want to just here, but I just want to show you how I come up with, how I came up with this thing, right? How I came up with this. So I'm not going to show you how to do everything because of our time, because we still have to analyze data, right? So what I will do here is the very first thing, if you see my dashboard, you can see I did not have any grid line right here. It's just blank, it's just white, right? So what I will do here, I'll go to, from home, if you have Excel, from home, you go to view, right? On view tab, we turn on grid line. You see now I have a white environment. So you just uncheck the grid line. If you don't need it, you turn it on and off, on, off, on, off, on, off. You can play with it. I play with this thing. Whenever I'm less busy or just don't have anything to do, I'll just come here and be playing. Like they cannot, they cannot charge me for this. Now they have problem, right? So I play with this a lot. So um, the headings, this A, column A, column B, row one, row two. I don't need it, right? <laughs> Whenever I don't have anything to do, I'll just play it. They can't charge me for it now. So I'll just come here and turn this off. Right, we have our free, we have our empty space, right, that is looking at me blank. So let's come here. Um, we want to do, your data has finished, Samsung. You need to buy data, buy data, or I should earn a spot for you, Samsung. Do you need a spot? Can't, cannot see my Excel screen. How is that possible? Can you all see my Excel screen? Santa cannot see my Excel screen. Are you sharing? Mr. Shell, yes, I am sharing. How many people can see my Excel screen? Raphael. Okay. Oshinaya, Olu, Kemi, Madam Kemi. Nice one. I can see. Okay. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Um, you should just slide. St. George, seeing it. I hope you are seeing Mr. Jude, I hope you are seen. This one I say, St. June. Takuma, welcome back. Nice, 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 nice. Mr. Saint, Mr. St. Jude, I hope you are seen. Because don't lie, don't, de don't deceive us with your name. Mr. Saint. Okay, nice one. You are seen. Okay, I'm coming back to you. Let me finish first. I'll come and tackle you very well. I have a whole lot of questions for Saint. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. So what I want to do here is we want to add shape. Now this thing is just made up of shapes, right? It's just made up of shape. No, start the practical. No, I'm not doing practical from the scratch. What I just want to show you is how a data analyst work. And let's analyze data together. Do you get? Don't worry, Madam Mary. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just look at what I'm doing. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right? Just look at what I'm doing. Okay. So I'll go to um, to sheet to this place and what I want to do is I want to pick a shape a top red, rounded rectangle so I'll just draw a shape right here like this so this is how we come up with it you can make it as big as possible and if you like you can make it as small as you want it's your choice this is your choice you have autonomy you have power you have control you are the one in charge right 
So yeah, I can decide to change my color, but I'll just leave it like this because I already have the one that I want to use. So I'll just leave it like that. So I can go back again to my shapes right here, pick another rectangle and draw it right here. And just draw it. Oh, too much. This is one of my biggest talent. So the moment I'm drawing it, it just run out of my hand. Um, I always play with this every single time. Excel is my friend. So I always play with it. Let me move it up. It's still too big. You can you can do whatever you want. It's your choice. So let me just move it up a little bit. Okay, not too much. Yeah. This Excel, I don't use to hear what though sometimes. I will tell you to do something, you know, answer me. Me and this exam, we still have issues very soon. I will go to the office and go and complete. Whatever, what you develop does not listen. Right? We will all go together to go and complete. So what we'll do here, okay, I should come again from the blank. Okay, I'll delete this and also delete this. This is the blank, right? I hope Excel will listen to me this time around. If not, me and Excel will have issues today. You are going to see me fighting. Real fighting with Excel. Okay, so I'm going to draw my top rounded rectangle right here. Whatever you like, you call it. I always call it top rounded rectangle. So Excel has another name for it. But for me, I give things different name. So, so if it is not the name, you can decide to give it your own name. Nobody will sue you for that. Do you get? Okay, listen to me this time around. Don't let us fight. Okay, now, this is how I was able to come up with this. So I'll just change this one to something light. I need something light, right? How many of us need something light? So what I'll do is I will send it backwards. How do you get the color, right? Okay, what I'll do is you have something called contextual tab, right? Your contextual tab is what I will use. So this is my contextual tab right here. You see shape format. So this is where I'm going to see my color. So here, you can see how I was able to come up with this thing right here. So um, it's left. <laughs> it is aligned to the left. Don't mind it. We will move it again, right? So, um, and every other thing is just shape. You can decide to change your color to whatever color that you like, right? So let me just add some more shapes. So um, there are a lot of things we can do with this. You can decide to have different templates and if you are just getting started, don't worry, don't worry. We are just getting started, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Um, we are still going to talk more on that. But let's do, let's analyze the first. You can change your color. I'll just duplicate this one, drop it here, just, just sizing it and give it different, different color. So I'll just stop here for this one. Then I'll decide to pick another one, another shape, a rectangular shape. Then I will draw a big one here, right? So this is how I was able to come up with this one here. So I just decided to come up with different, different shapes. Give it a shadow. You have your shadow right here. You shape effect. You have shadow that you can give it your shadow. You can decide to have this black line outside this. We call it shape outline. So you can decide to give it right. So all this one is getting yourself ready to analyze. So one of the very first things that we'll do is drawing a template that we use. So you can draw different type of templates that you want to work with. It's your choice. You can decide to put it at the right or at the left, anywhere. It's your choice, right? So now you know that all these things are made up of shapes. They are made up of shapes. So that is how I was able to come up with this one. It's not something that is really, really hard. They are just shapes that I decide to put somewhere and somewhere and somewhere. Okay, now, Let's continue. Let's continue. So now let's now go to our data. One thing that I always do with my data, this data is already clean. I don't have any stuff here. So it's already clean. I clean it up. So one thing that I always do here is before I start analyzing my data, I love to put my data in a table. What does table do? What do we use table for? Table is used to create a relationship between your data. Now, as you are looking at this data, Excel treats each cell differently what do we call a cell a cell is the intersection of row and column so if i open another spreadsheet here so you can see we have a column here this is column a column b column c column d column e and the likes 
and we have row one, row two, row three, right? All these things are going to be taught in Excel basics. Don't worry about that. And we have a cell. A cell is the intersection of rows and columns. This is where they both meet. Now we call it A, I mean column A, row one. So we call it A1. Right here is C3, right? So all these things are what we call a cell. Now Excel treats, so I'm going to delete this sheet because I don't need it. I'll just right click on it and delete because I actually don't need it. So Excel treats each cell differently, right? So, but for me, I want Excel to know that they are all the same, you know, they all come from the same family. So what I'll do is I always put it in a table. And Excel will always ask us one simple question. Does your column have header? My, I'll say yes. Now, what are headers? Headers are the column identifier. They are what we use to identify our column. Okay, right now I can know that, okay, this particular column contains color, um, crash ID. This one contains this. This one contains month. This contains the year. This one contains day, week. Right? This contains time. This contains crash type. So that is how we identify that. So we call it header. So there are two ways I always put my data in the table. The very first way that I don't really use is using going to insert and choose a table. I don't really use that. But the one that I always use is Ctrl T. So I just press my Ctrl T. My table has header, I'll say yes. I'll make sure that it's six and click on OK. And automatically Excel will put my data in a table. Now is, is the right time for us to start analyzing our data. OK. The very first question is, right? The very first question is, how, yeah, now, based on your own experience, which day of the week do you think accident occurs the most? So we are picking out some key information now. Which day of the week do you think accident occurs the most? Before we get the information out from Excel. This is based on the data, this is not a real life data. Which day of the week do you think accident occurs the most? We have from Sunday to Saturday. Which day of the week do you think accident occurs the most? Chijere said Sundays. What about others? What about others? Monday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh, oh go from one. Madam Tolulo, choose one. Choose one. This is an expo. Choose one. Saturday, Saturday. Okay, Madam Tolulo, I'm waiting for you. You choose one. We have Saturdays, Fridays, Saturday. Saturday, Friday, okay. We will see the winner now. Sunday. Oh, most people just say Saturday, Sunday, and no, choose one, choose one. No, 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 no. Don't do Friday and Saturday. Right? Okay. It is mostly Sunday. Okay. Nice one. Okay, Friday night. Okay, now let's see. Right? Let's see. It is Saturday, Joe. Okay. Let's see, let's see. It is Monday. So what I always do, what I always do, what I always do is I will put it in a pivot table. What does pivot table do? Pivot table is a powerful tool that helps us to analyze our data. So if you are learning Excel, one of the tools you need to learn is pivot table. So I'm going to put this in a pivot table. So I'll come here and do summarize. Okay, oh, summarize with pivot table. We'll see the winner now. Summarize with pivot table. And I will need it on a new worksheet. All I just do is click on OK. Excel will put this in a pivot table. Right, so we want to see days of the week. What I will do here, I will pick my days of day week and drag it. Day week, I will drag it into the row like this. So I have the weeks, the days listed out here for me. The days is listed out here. So let's know the days of the week. So let's tell Excel to count it for me. So I'll drag the day week, put it in value so that Excel will count. Count it. Okay, so let's see, let's see the winner. So what I will do, yes. So what I will do is I will right click, then sort from the largest to the smallest. Oh, wow, Saturday. How many of us went for Saturday? Saturday is the winner. Let me see the winner. Who are the winners here? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Saturday is the winner. Saturday is the winner. How many of us won? If you win, let me give you a bottle of water. Okay, thanks, Jude. You won. Wow, nice one. Sandra, okay. Do you need a bottle of water? You won. How many people? We have a whole lot of Saturday. We just have four people that said they want to. Yes, yeah, Saturday wins. Okay, so Saturday has the highest rate of accidents, right? Saturday has the highest rate of accidents. We will the okay, the Berlin team. 
Okay, 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 nice one. So what we'll do here is, we say visuals, right? So let's put it in a chat so that we see something. We see it in visual, right? So what I will just do is, I will come here to where I have my pivot chart and put it in a chat. So I just can recommend a chat for me, right? I can try to go with this chart or decide to choose another chart. So we are going to still do more, right? We are going to still do more. So don't worry. Don't worry, we are still going to do more. I'm going to explain. We have question and answer section. So after this practical now, we are going into the question and answer section. So let's go with the one that Excel recommended for us, right? So I'll just click on OK. This will put it in a chart for me, right? This is going to put it in a chart for me. Then what I'll do is let me go to design. So if I go to design, I think I'll go with um, a black design for this one. Right, so what I will now do is, because I have my chart now, I have my chart now, I'll just cut out this chart and put it in my dashboard here. I'll just paste it right here, Control V to paste. And another other that thing is just arrangement. So I'll just arrange it in a way that makes, that makes it look nice. That makes it look nice. Some people have been calling me female. So we want to see. So we've gotten this, right? We know that, okay, Saturday is the winner, followed by Friday, followed by Sunday. The least day, based on this data, the least day that accident do not always occur is Monday. So we are safe to go out on Monday. On Saturday, I won't be going out again on Saturday because of the highest rate of accident due to this data. Okay, are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? You can see data analysis is fun. Is this not fun? Is this not fun? Does this not make sense? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Okay, it is fun. Okay, nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Sounds said I'm fast, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just showing you how we work. I am not teaching, right? I'm just showing you how you work, how it work. I am not teaching. So here, here, what we are doing is just Showing, we are analyzing data. We are analyzing data. We are not training. I'm not training. I told you today that today we are just here to enjoy ourselves. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, let's ask another question. Now, because of the people that have been calling me female and male, I'm, this, I'm, I'm trying to think if I should change my gender from male to female, right? Uh, from male to female, right? So now I want to know. Based on your own ideas, which gender do you think gets into the accident the most? Is it male or female? So that you can help me with my decision. So that we know maybe I should change from male to female. Male, 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 male. Okay. It seems a lot of people are going for male. We have one female. Male. Ah, ah. Why are people saying male, male, male? What happened? Ma okay, we have three females now. Why are you all going for female? Female, we have four female. Male are careless. <laughs> they said male are careless driver. Well, what, what is your name? Go come be. Don't worry. Bob, Bob non risky. Don't worry. Don't, I will look for that one. I will look for that one. I'll be AK risky. I'll be AK risky. Don't worry. Okay, now. Okay. So, okay, we have male and female. So, based on this data, let's see the gender drive on high speed. That is the rule of male. Okay. Female cost all the accidents. I've not asked you the person that cost it too. So now let's see. Is it a male and female? So let's see. Um, let's see the gender with the highest rate. So I'll come to my design, summarize the pivot because I already have one pivot table here. I want to work with existing worksheet. So I'll just put it beside this one. Um, I'll just put it right here. And I'll click on OK. Oh, sorry. Let me cancel it. I will summarize the pivot again. I want to work with existing worksheet. And I'll go to this sheet three and just put it somewhere around there. I'll click on OK. So this will give me another pivot table. And now we are looking for gender. So these are all my columns. So I'll pick my gender, my gender. I'll drag it and drop it in row. This is just basic drag and drop. 
And I'll come here again, drag and drop the gender here. Okay. So we have some people that does not specify. Oh, maybe I should turn to unspecified. Because right here we have unspecified that is man. Or I should just turn to black. Black is zero. Okay, so let me just filter them out. We cannot be going to the hospital and be looking for the people that does not specify the agenda. I don't know how they will record and they will not record the agenda. Right? Okay. Here now, we have female and we have male. So let's see the highest. Right click, sort from the largest to the smallest. Wow! Male is like times two of the female. Male is like times two of the female. So female, for those of you that went for male, who we won. You know, I chose you know I chose male that time. But I'm I'm changing my gender now to female. How many of us win? Do we win? How many of us? How many of us? Yes. If you are a winner, let me know. If you are a winner, if you are a winner, if you are a winner. Let me know, let me know if you are a winner. Are we still here? Are we still here? Okay, St. Jude once again. Okay, Saint, you know I have a question for you. I am coming. <laughs> if you are Saint or not. Okay, you okay, okay. So now the next thing is to put it in our chat. So I'll just come to Fiverr chat. And what I'll do, let me go with something like five. So I can go with donor chat. Um so you can go with any of this chat chat, but I'll just go with this pie chat and I'll click on okay, right. So what I'll do is I'll cut this out. I'll just cut this out. I can decide to go into design. I can decide to go into design and choose the black, right? So right now, I'll just move this up. I'll cut this out, Control X, and I'll put it in my dashboard. I'll put it in my dashboard right here. I'll just paste it right here. So what I'll do is just to rearrange it in such a way that makes more sense. I'll just do a little bit of rearrangement. I'll just do a little bit of rearrangement right here. So I'll just rearrange it. And boom. Our data is ready. We are ready. Okay, should we do more? Should we do one more? Are you enjoying this? Are we enjoying this? Are we enjoying this? Should we do one more? Should we do one more? If you want one more, say one more, one more, one more. How many of us want? Should we do? Should we do one more? Okay, we have two one more. One, two more. <laughs> Let's do more. Let's do more. Okay, we should do more, right? One more, three more. More, right? Okay, okay. Five more. Ah, we have time. Oh, we don't have much time. Okay. Um, hundred. No. <laughs> okay, now let's see the road user. Let's go to the road user. Let's go to the road user. So, here in the road user, which of the road users do you think gets into the accident the most? Now, listen to the answer. Listen to the answer. We have motorcycle, right? Pedestrian, passenger, driver. So, what, what do you think has gets into the accident the most? Is it the motorcycle rider, the pedestrian, the passenger, the driver? Who do you think? The motorcycle. Someone say keke. <laughs> okay. Motorcycle, motorcycle. Okay, is that all? Uh, a lot of people are going for motorcycle. Driver. There's one person that went for driver. So other people went for motorcycle, motorcycle. We also have driver. Okay, a lot of people went for motorcycle. Now the keke na pe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's put this in our fiber table. So summarize the fiber table. Right, I have an existing worksheet that I'm working with. So I'll come here. Let's put that one right here. I'll just click on OK. So this will put it in a private table for me. So let's come here to. OK, it's the pedestrian that is thinking of wipe. OK. So let's go to the road user. I'll pick my road user from here. I'll pick my road user, then drag it down to this place. So pick my road user again, put it in the values. So let's sort. From the largest to the smallest. As you can see, as you can see, the driver has more accidents, right? We have after driver, it is passenger. After passenger, is pedestrian. Oh, Mr. Francis, you are just saying driver right now because you've seen the answer. That is Expo, Mr. Francis. That is Expo, right? St. Jude is a lie. You went for motorcycle. You went for motorcycle, don't lie. 
you went for motorcycle. It's only like two people that went for driver. Other people went for motorcycle. So, right? So you are not a saint anymore. You just like, okay, are we enjoying this? Are we enjoying this? So let's put in the chat, right? Let's put this in the chat. So let's just use, um, okay, you were the first, okay, no problem. My audio is low, enjoying, okay. Let's put it in a bar chat. Let's have this in a bar chat and let's just click on okay. So what I will do here is I will cut this out and I will decide to put it in my dashboard. So let me just put it in my down here. This dashboard down here. Right? I'll just paste it right here. So right now, so let me let me change the design to something like black. So I'll come to design because I'm using a white background. So black will come out more on it. So I'll just rearrange every other thing is basic rearrangement. I'll just rearrange. So I'll just do rearrangement right here and I will drag. So you can see how we're able to get out information from this data, right? You can see it's not something that is really, really hard. It's not something that is really, really hard like that. Right, we can get we can go on more and more to pick out what matters the most. You can see we've gotten three information right now just by doing this in class. Right, you're having a bad network, Mr. Francis. No problem. So now let's go into the question and answer section because of our time. I hope you enjoy the practical section. How many of us enjoy the practical section and are feeling like this man? If you are feeling like wow, you've learned a lot. You are feeling like this man now. You need to blow off your head, right? Like this. You are feeling like this man. Cool, right? Cool, cool, cool. You did. You learned a lot. Right, right, right. Right. Okay, okay. You are really feeling cool, right? Nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one. Okay. Okay, you feel like we should continue the firing, no problem. We are going to continue, but let's, let me take some questions before we go. But now, note, note, this is not something you are going to learn in one day. It is not something you are going to learn in one day. How many of us would like to become a pro? How many of us would like to become a pro at this? How many of us would like to become a pro at this? How many of us want to become a pro? For me, I want to become a pro max. How many of us want to become a pro? Okay, you want? Okay, 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 okay. Now, um, yes, the data is already clean. You miss a lot. Okay, pro max, max, max. Okay, nice one. Now, learning data analysis is not something we can cover in one class. It's not something we can cover in one class. Um, now, learning data analysis is not something we can do in one day. We spent over one hour in this class now, and we've, done, we've not done a whole lot, right? We just did, okay, we just did a, okay, we just did small parts of data analysis. Now, that's why I have been able to come up with what we call the data analysis master class. The data analysis masterclass. In this our data analysis masterclass, in this our data analysis masterclass, what are you going to get? In this our data analysis masterclass, what are you going to get? You are going to learn from basics of Excel. You don't, you don't need to have any knowledge at all. You are going to learn from basic of Excel, introduction to Excel, to advanced Excel, right? You are going to learn over 50 Microsoft Excel formula, over 50. Microsoft Excel formula. You are going to learn Microsoft Excel table and Fiverr table. You are going to learn chart, how to work with chart. You are going to learn that. You are going to learn how to work with slicer and timeline. There's something called slicer and timeline. You are going to learn it. You are going to learn data manipulation. You are going to learn how to clean up your data with Power Query. How you can use Power Query to clean up your data. You are going to learn M language with Power Query. You are going to learn data modeling with Power BI. You are going to learn Power BI. You are going to learn DAX, Data Analysis Expression, in Power BI. 
you are going to learn data visualization with both Excel and Power BI. You are going to learn database creation with MySQL. You are going to learn database query. You are also going to get um, Python essentials. You are going to learn how to create a portfolio and how to optimize your LinkedIn account. Those are what you are going to learn in this three month class. Those are what you are going to learn in this three month class. So this is what you are going to get that I've mentioned earlier, right? Now, learning this thing is not something you are going to learn in a day, right? So this is going to be a three month program every Friday and Saturday, 8 to 10 p.m. every Friday and Saturday, every Friday and Saturday for the next three months. And how much am I going to be charging you? Note that I said I am very affordable, right? I'm giving you a premium package at an affordable rate. How much am I charging you this? So on a normal day, if I want to train someone, I charge 150K. And if you're in Ghana, I charge 1,500 Ghana cities. But for tonight, for tonight, if you, are going to, if you are going to be part of the people that want to join this new batch, that want to start on the 14th of this month, so if you, are, if you want to be part of the people that want to join this, it is just 15,000 naira for those people that are here tonight. If you are here tonight, you have a massive discount of just 15,000 naira if you are in Nigeria. And if you are in Ghana, it's just 150 Ghana cities. If you are in Ghana, it's just 150 Ghana cities. If you are in Ghana, if you are in Nigeria, it's just 15,000. So now, what are the bonus we are going to get? You are going to get Python Essential recorded videos. All my Python Essentials that I've recorded, you are going to get all the classes that I've had on Python Essential. You are going to get all the recorded video as a bonus. What are you going to also get? You are going to get monetization of skill. There are three parts of skill. The very first part is learn the skill, know the skill very well, and the third part is know how to sell the skill, right? So you are going to get a free access to our celebration course. That is how to sell your skill, right? If you don't want to work for any organization, how to sell your skill. You are going to get access to full Microsoft Word course. How you can use it to create, how you can use it to create a CV and the likes, how you can create a good CV, and also PowerPoint, how you can do this type of slide that I did. And this is just for the very first 50 people that will make payments tonight. It's just 15,000 for Nigerian, and if you're in Ghana, it's just 150 Ghana cities. If you're in Ghana, it's just 150 Ghana cities. If you're in Nigeria, it's just 15,000. And this is just for the very first 50 people that make payments tonight. It's just for the very first 50 people that make payments tonight. So this is the account number. If you want to join me in this three-month journey, it's a three-month, every Friday and Saturday, 8.30 to 10 p.m., every Friday and Saturday. For Ghanaian, it's every Friday and Saturday also, 7.30 to 9 p.m., if you are Ghanaian. So that is that. If you are in Nigeria, you pay into money points, right? You pay into this money points here, Digital World Tech Academy, 532385-0690. And if you're in Ghana, you pay into Momo, right? I think they call it mobile money, 150 Ghana cities. And you pay into it, it's 0550123043. Not few, Raj, right? So that is that about that. Let me start taking your question. Let me start taking your question before we call it a day. Do you have any question? Now, at the end of this program, at the end of this program, you are going to cover, you are going to get Certificates. Why is Nigeria owned always costly? Nigeria is not cost at all. It's just 15,000. 15, and Ghana, 150 Ghana cities. If you are in Ghana, it's 150 Ghana cities. For the very first 50 people that will make payments tonight for you. So if you are not making payments, the class is starting on the 14th of this month. So if you are part of the very first 50 people to make payments, then you get automatic access. But if you are not part of the very first 50 people, you are all going to end up paying 150K to join the class. Okay, I have um, Chidera Francis. Please unmute. How do we get the software to learn? Okay, like Power BI. Okay, Power BI, you're going to be taught on how to install it yourself. Don't worry, you will learn how to install Power BI, how to install SQL, and how to install um, Python. You'll learn it. Okay.
I just saw the advert this evening. Please bear with me. Let me make before the deadline. No, if you are part, it's just very first city people. Okay, now, um, Chidera, you can go ahead. Okay, I wanted to ask. I saw somewhere that someone that has the knowledge of of um this mm. data analysis mm. can handle cryptocurrency stuff and all that and also handle map stuff is yes. that true we work with you can you can do map you can the reason why they said is they work with crypto is if you can get a data on crypto you can analyze it and use it for prediction you get oh. you can analyze it and yes. use it for prediction but for me i don't do crypto so i don't work with crypto so but um, if you want you can work with it I'm a computer science student. That is why I'm asking. Yeah. I also, no I also had um had that uh, any any field you want to go inside in computer science that you must know have the knowledge of data analysis and stuff. Is I that said true? it. I said it. Wherever you want to go into, you must have a knowledge of data analysis. Is one good thing. You must have a knowledge on data analysis. Even if you are a software developer or what, you must have how does it help you? Okay, how does it help? How does it help? It yes. helps in different fields. Yes. Now, if you're a software developer, let's say you are running ads mm. to get a gig. You want to know yes. where your advice is performing very well. You want to know the yes. customer that pay you very well. You want to know the yes. amount you are spending, right? For you to know yes. all this, yes. you must be able to analyze the data. How? How? Okay. In this one, let's say you are getting a gig from different parts of the country, right? Now, you want to know mm. which part of the country, like, right, right now, you want to run adverts. You want to know mm. which part, which part of the country can I run adverts to? Can I run adverts to that I can get a good audience? Because, okay, let's say most of my audience yes. are coming from Lagos. So, if I want to run adverts, I know that, okay, I'm not targeting the Badon. I'm not targeting Ghana. I'm targeting Nigeria. Because that is where most of my data are coming from. That is where most of my clients are coming from. That is where I can get the highest paying clients. Do you get? So with that, you can get that. Okay. 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 So someone said I just made my payments at the Wale Baba today. No problem. Drop your payment proof in the group. My team will attend to that. My team will attend to that. Um, someone said does the fifteen thousand cover everything? I mentioned the 15,000 cover everything I mentioned, including your certificate, including your certificate. Someone said, those without a laptop, how are we going to do it? What I would advise you to do is you join the class, you have access to all the recorded video, right? Then once you get a laptop, you can start practicalizing it. The, the access is a lifetime. So you have access to the class, right? You have direct access to me where you can call me on phone. You can ask me any question, right? And you also have access to all the recorded video. So is your certificate? Yes, we are recognized globally. So we have students in Canada. You have different. We have students in Netherlands, all around the globe. So you can um, have a certificate. In fact, I even signed a recommendation letter to people. Someone said, "Must we pay once?" Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it this way. Because I want to help people, I want us to be able to join, right? I want us to be able to join tonight. So if you don't want to, if you don't have everything at once, if you don't have everything at once, you can pay on two installments. So you can make a deposit now, right? You can make a deposit tonight for you to join the very first 50 people. Then by next month, you balance up. So you can say, I've tried, right? So if one wants to learn data analysis with Calibre's our office, our office is located in Nikorodu, Lagos State. You can call me on phone. This is my phone number here. This is my phone number here. You can call me. Someone said, are you the one taking all the classes, please? Because the lecture is, is the way lecture is, is something, something, something. So uh, I'm not the only one taking the classes. I'm not the only one taking the classes. We are going to meet other fantastic instructors. So like, how much can we pay first? You can make a 50% deposit tonight. And balance up next one. The account detail has been dropped in the group. The account detail has been dropped in the group. So, uh, Mensa, please unmute. Mensa, please unmute. 
the account detail has been dropped in the group. You can drop your payment proof in the group. The way your lecture is, is like KVC. <laughs> you pay thank you already. No problem, Raphael. Mensa, please continue. You people don't want to speak with uh, Please. Yes, sir, that please, I wanted to sorry, ask sir, that. Sorry, sir. sorry. Please, once your payment is confirmed, they will send you a registration form. You see the name, Lucia. That is our admin. You see the name, Lucia. Mm -hmm. You'll be asked to fill a registration form for you to be able to get access to our LMS and different. Okay, continue. Okay, sir. So, so those of us that wouldn't be able to join the first 50 people to make payment and would have to pay the uh, initial amount, would we still be able to get what do we call it? The, uh, the PowerPoint presentation slides we used today, uh, as well as uh, today, what today's the data set. Yes, yes. The slide, I will drop today's slide in the group and the data set. Okay. You can practice with it. Okay. Okay, sir. Please, that was and, my question. And Thank you, you very always, much. You can always message me if you have any questions. You can always message me. Okay. You can give me a call. I will attend to you. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me take another person. Raise your hand now. Enoch. Enos, please, I don't forget about the unclean data. I will try. Where is your contact? My contact is right here. It has also been dropped in the group. This is it. 091-6648-3003. You can also pick my contacts in the group. So let me show you the... So you can see, this is... Let me... This is this. This is my, this is my DP. This picture, you see it in my DP. And also, you can always ask anybody that they should give you a team contact in the group, any of the admin. So if you did not get my, you got my contact in the group, you can pick my contact in the group. Okay, Enoch, please continue. I will answer this question later. Enoch. Okay, please, thank you for this opportunity. Please, I want to ask uh, if we are not able to pay for, for, for the first 50. So can we get all the bonuses that you put it on the in the fryer. Okay, what I will do for you is, all the people that make payment tonight, we get access to the bonus. If you are part of the people that make payment tonight, you get access to the bonus. So you can deposit uh, and balance next month. You can make a 50% deposit and balance next month. So, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, so are we sending the, the money through the Momo number or the you have sent, uh, your if, main you number. Ghana, if you are in Ghana, yeah. you are sending it to Momo. You are sending it to Momo. If you are in Nigeria, you are sending it to Money Point. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Someone said, Where is our office in Ikorodu? Our office is at Agri. Is at Agri. Ikorodu. Just give me a call whenever you are coming. I'll send you the address. Or you can use Google Maps. Just search on Google Digital World Tech Academy. You are going to see us coming out. Then you can use Google Maps. Okay, Raphael, please unmute. Raphael, please unmute. You can, oh, sorry, I mistakenly mute you. I'm going to answer you. Different between data analysis and data science. I'm going to answer you. So, um, you can continue, sir, or oh, ma'am. Good evening. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you, sir. All the classes, I want to confirm some things, sir. Okay. Same class will last three months. Yes, it's a three-month program. And um, you made mention earlier that you know data. This course is quite broad. Yes. I mean, quite broad. And will that will that three months be enough to to learn all these things you've mentioned so far? <laughs> three months will be enough to mention to learn Excel, Power BI, and SQL. So Python is a bonus. You are going to get all my recorded video on Python Essential. Okay. So, okay. if you are learning data analysis and data science, it's a six-month program. But it, you are always going to start with data analysis. So, data analysis is a three-month program. Okay, okay. I think I get that. Okay, now, nice one. Can I ask another please? Yes, please. Again. I, wanna, I actually did, I did um, a lecture in school. Okay. And, you know, Based on what I've seen so far online about data analytics and you know how it is evolving, so yeah. I decided to switch to to um, data analytics. Now, I want to ask, how can we get opportunities, you know, regarding this field? Okay, mm. there are a whole lot of opportunity. 
You can decide to work for an organization, or you can decide to start getting a project yourself. So for me now, I'm not working for an organization. I'm working with Digital World Tech Academy, right? And um, Digital World, I'm a partner at Digital World Tech Academy. So I also get um, data analysis and data science gig. So I get it from Fiverr. I run AdWords to get my gig. I do a whole lot of things to get my gig. So if you don't want to work for an organization, you are, the very first, the last two weeks of this month, once the class starts, the last two weeks of this month, we are going to show you how you can get a gig using LinkedIn, how you can set up your portfolio, and the likes, how you, the, the very first thing we are going to do before you even start your data analysis class is how you can get gig. So if you don't want to work for an, for an organization, you can start getting your gig yourself. I hope you get that. You can start getting projects. So I hope you get that, sir. So um, wherever you are coming from, you can you can see this is Digital World Tech Academy Computer Institute in Ikorodu. This is our Ikorodu. So you all you just have to do is click on direction, and this will take you. So someone said I've made my payment. Drop your payment proof in the group. Um, someone said someone said something. I'm coming. Let me read that. Does portfolio has to do with GitHub? Yes, you can set up your portfolio on GitHub too. You can set it up on GitHub and the likes. So someone is asking, so what is the data? What what is data analysis all about? Because I wasn't ah uh, data analysis is all about analyzing data, getting insight from the data, right? Getting insight from the data. And we have a three-month program that is going to start on the 14th of this month. So that is just available for just the very first 50 people tonight. So we are part of the very okay, all the people that make payment tonight. So if you are part of the people that make payment tonight, we are going to get access. To the class it's every friday and saturday night okay okay and not okay okay and not let me answer you then ask another i have another question on data analysis and data science i will answer that now okay you can continue oh, okay sir please uh, uh please uh, i want to know that i want to know that the name that uh, maybe it will come when we are sending the money it's not few Siraj. Not few Siraj. Not okay. Siraj. That's the name. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone said what of me that I don't have any. I said, if you don't need to have any knowledge at all, it's starting from the basic introduction to Excel. So you don't need to have any knowledge at all. You don't need to have any knowledge. You get, you don't need to have any knowledge. Mr. Albert. So, glory, please unmute. Madam Glory, please unmute. Madam Glory, please unmute. Okay, so I want to find out is the class going to be a live class or we are just uh, we are just going to join and be, be watching recorded? No, it's a live class, though. You are going to meet me in live class and other instructor. We are doing it live, and you get the opportunity to unmute to ask your lecturer a question. It's a live class every Friday and Saturday. But you also have the support of a recorded video. The recorded video is just a support in case you learned something in class that you did not understand. It's a live class. It's a live class. So someone asked what is the difference between data analysis and data science. Data analysis is the process of analyzing a data, right? So you analyze a data. Whereby data science is like coding aspect of data analysis, right? So it is like a broad field. Where you write, we do prediction, we write algorithm. So we write algorithm. We are we write algorithm. No problem. Taufik, I will answer you. Chidera, you can make a deposit to join. You can make a deposit to join. Or Chidera, you can send me a DM. You can send me a DM. I will attend to you. You are going too fast. Can you slow down a bit for us so that don't worry. This is a beginner's friendly class. It's going to start from the total basic. So it's because of our time. That's why we have to move faster. You know, today we did theory, we did practical, and we are doing question and answer today in one class. Right. So probably um um sorry. So um in, in a live class is purely practical. We are not dealing with theory. So the whole one at 30 minutes is purely practical. Are we going to learn both data analysis and data science? No, you are going to start with data analysis. Data science is another program. 
what we are doing now is data analysis. So Zoom user, Zoom user, you can unmute, please. Zoom user, you can unmute, please. Zoom user. Okay. Um. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. Okay. What's my question. My my name is Miss Oma. I can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, my question is, how good is your engagement? Like, when we are learning, how can we ask questions? You know, you guys will put us through practicals and all that. So, it's a practical class. And in that class, you can raise your hand, just like the same way you are speaking with me now. You can ask your lecturer a question. At the end of every class, we always have a question and answer, whereby we ask, you ask your question, then we answer it. So if you still don't understand, you have the opportunity to raise your hand and ask your question by unmuting. And also, you can drop it in the chat. The instructor will answer your question. So if I'm also the one taking the class, I will answer your question. Then outside of the class, you can send me a direct message. You can send any of your instructor a direct message to ask a question. Like me, I do a whole lot of video call. You can call me in video call. I know fine, right? So there's nothing where they hide. So you can call me on video call, voice call to ask questions. Yes, you can pay. Francis, no problem. You can make your deposit. You can make your deposit. No problem, Francis. Do you get that now, ma'am? Yes, 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 I get it. Please, uh, I want to pay like half this month. Then next month, I'll complete the payment. I want you to can... pay by installments. No problem, ma'am. No problem, ma'am. You can go ahead and drop your payment proof in the group. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question from anybody? Is there any? I want to pay up too. No problem. You can make a deposit. You can make a deposit and balance up once we start and balance up next month. Will the class be recorded because of the people? Yes. All our classes are always recorded. All our classes are always recorded. You always, immediately after your class, you get the replay. Let's say, okay, there is network glitch. The instructor was not able to drop the replay. That night, you are going to get it in the morning. So if you did not get the replay that night, maybe because of network, almost it's it's almost every immediately we finish our class, we always drop the replay. You get the replay that same night. If you don't get it that same night, this next morning you are going to get it. Do you get it? So, and if you are in Lagos, if you are in Lagos, if you are closer to Ikorodu, if you are closer to Ikorodu, you can always come to our office to ask me questions and meet other instructors. I would love to see you. Right, will there be an exam? Yes, there's going to be an exam, but here we are going to take a project. If you are kind of lazy, if you are a person that is lazy, right, please I will advise you don't join because you are going to get an assignment, you are going to get project. There are three major projects you have to do for you to be qualified for your certificate. Let me state it here now. After you are done with Excel, you are going to get a project. After you are done with Power BI, you are going to get a project, and after you are done with SQL, you are going to get a project. So these are the three major projects that are going to get for you to be qualified for your certificate. We don't pay any money for your certificate. Drop your payment proof in the group. Nana, you can drop your payment proof in the group. So you don't pay anything for your certificate. The only thing that can delay your certificate is your project. But you are going to learn everything. So it's everything that you learn in class that you are still going to replicate in your project. So you don't have to be scared. Everything you learned in class, that's what you are going to replicate as your project. Do you get that's what you are going to replicate as your project? So you are going to learn Excel, Power BI. What happened to those who don't have a laptop? Yes, we have we have cases of people that don't have a laptop. So we always exclude them. We give them a lot of time for them to do their project. For them to do their project. We give them a whole lot of time for them to do their project. So then after you are done with it, the major reason why we are giving the project is just for us to know that, okay, you actually understand everything we, you learned in class. You understand? So it's just for us. No problem. Now I just drop your payment proof in the group. How can one do the project and the assignment? So if you are going to, if you, if you don't have a laptop, if you have a friend that have a laptop, or you, have, you work with company where you use desktop or laptop, or you have cyber cafe anywhere, you can just go around and do it, then copy your file and send it. Simple as that. You know, it's not the most for you to have your own laptop. You can use any of your friend's laptop. You can use um, um, something like that. Go to 
um, your cyber cafe or do it. So someone said, can you tutor someone physically in your is Yes, I do physical I do physical training in our physical uh, uh, office. So if you are closer to our office, you can come around to our office, then um, we can do physical training for you if you want physical. I do physical training every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, physical training. So Raphael, please do mute. How often do you undertake? I do this course every single time. If, if I understand your question. So you can unmute. Raphael, please go ahead. Raphael, please, you can talk now. Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. I can hardly hear you. I can hardly hear you. I can hardly hear you, please. I can hardly hear you, Raphael. So um, you can you can drop your hand and raise it later. Um, let me see if you have a better network by then. Is there any other question before we take it? What time do you take the class in this at this place? Okay, if you are joining the online, the online is every Friday and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Every side Friday and Saturday, 8.30 to 10 p.m. Every Friday and Saturday. So I mean those that will not be able to join this course. When will this send me a DM? I will answer your question. I will answer your question. Okay, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. I mean physically, sir. Our physical class is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's when I take classes physically, right, at a Greek. From 10 to 2, I'm always in class. So if you want to send me a DM or you want to give me a call, please, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, don't give me a call by 10 to 2, right? Because I'll be in class. So it's my assistant that will pick it or the secretary that will pick my call. So, but if you want to speak with me directly, you can call me around 4 p.m. in the evening, right? Around 4 p.m. till around 7. Because I start another class, online class, from 8.30 till 10 every day, right? 8.30 till 10, so I'll be in class. But you can call me from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you call me in the morning from 8 to 10 before I start my class. Or you can call me any moment from 10 p.m. at night till around 12 or 1 p.m. I always speak up. I don't sleep, 1 a.m. rather, I don't sleep early. So you can call me around that time. So if you want to have, ask a question. So I have made past payment. No problem, Francis. Welcome to the court. So any other question from anybody? Is there any question? And I would have loved to speak with females. So I want to get girlfriend here. Who, will I, who, who are the females that I can speak with now? Single ladies, single ladies, single ladies, single ladies. Who, where are you? You are not raising your hand. I, okay, Infinix. Let me take Infinix. You like to be my girlfriend, right? Where would the physical class commence? The physical class will commence. You, once you, you can come around. You can come around for physical class. Infinix X seats 517 wants to be my girlfriend. Okay, you can unmute now. Infinix, you can unmute. I, the last time I took webinar, I had one girlfriend from K2. You can talk now. Hello. Hey, uh, my new evening. girlfriend. How are you doing? <laughs> hope you are not married. Fine. I hope your, fine, your fine, boyfriend. Fine. I hope your boyfriend or your husband will not come and break my head. No, he can't break. In, in as much in as much you'll be teaching me. Oh. I want to learn. I want to be pro max. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. What's your name? So, um, I'm a big girl. Oh, I'll be girl. Okay, no problem. Yes. I actually want to ask that in a situation whereby you said there will be exam. Hmm. So I you you you've already advised that if anyone is lazy, if you ne if you not even engage. Yes, I told so, you that. Uh -huh. So and I, okay, I actually want to ask that uh if written the exam and probably we know we top the is there any cut of mark or any certain thing that you used there's to judge? There's no way. There's no way you are not going to. Our exam is not does not even determine your certificate. Because let me tell you something. Okay. In this tech field, they don't do theory. So in fact, if you go for an interview, they're going to give you data to practice. So what matters the most is the practical. So that is why I said the three projects are what will determine your certificate. Do you get? Okay. So the three projects yeah. are what will determine your certificate. So after you are, that is why I said, if you are lazy, don't bother to join because you are going to get assignments. 
at the end of every class, the only classes you are not going to get an assignment is your first and second or third class. When we are talking about how you can monetize your skill, how to link, link um, how to optimize your LinkedIn, how to set up your portfolio, you are not going to get assignment for that. But the moment we start practical, you are going to be getting assignment every single time. And after you are done, you are going to get a project. So it's the project that we are even all about. For us to be sure that, yes, you understand everything that we did. Do you get? Abigail, do you get that? Okay, so I said, what time will lecture start on Friday? Friday and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. 8.30 p.m. in the evening to 10 p.m. Okay, is the call for physical? No, it's not the same, it's not the same, it's not the same. Physical is not the same with online. Physical is 150, but you can come, shall come to physical first. Let's talk. We can talk. You are my friend. Don't worry, I'll give you a huge discount on the physical. But on a normal day, we charge 150, 170 for physical. But because you are my friend and you are part of this webinar, come, I will give you a discount. So my girlfriend has gone. Abigail, you do not talk to me again. No worry, let's talk in my DM. Send me a DM. Say I am Abigail. Then we will start our conversation from there. Our love story, that is how, you see, how easy it is for you to get a girlfriend. For male here, if you are looking for a girlfriend, send me a DM. I will, you are, you are, I will give you a form to fill so that, <laughs> so that I, will get, I will give you a girlfriend. Will the physical class be taken faster or something? Will the, class, will the physical class be faster? It depends on how you can assimilate. It depends on how you can assimilate. It's still the same phase. So it's three months for physical, three months for online. My happy girl, you don't run, right? No problem. Is there any other question? If you still would like to be my girlfriend, you can talk. Oh, Invinis X669. Would you like to be my girlfriend? Are you a female or male? Before I say another thing. Is there any other question? Is there any other question? Abigail, send me a DM. Um, I don't start matchmaking now. Is there any other question? You are a female. Okay, let's talk. What is your name? Infinis X9. X669. Let's talk. My new girlfriend. Oluwa Show. Wow. Okay, oh, look, Asho, you can unmute. AK, you are just too friendly. I like your tweet. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I have, you, they talk, just they talk. I've gotten two girlfriends in one webinar. Do you know how many girlfriends I get in a day? Oh, look, Asho, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine, good evening. Are you I'm in fine, my thank class? you. Have you joined our yeah. class? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed okay. it so much. Though I, I joined late, though. Okay. Gain some things. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, my latest girlfriend. Abigail at Oluwa Show. Send me a DM. Don't worry, I will start matchmaking very soon. You will be seeing my video. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, the you. mail, the mail are going to send in their information. So I'll be matchmaking them. I have a lot. Don't worry. I take webinar every single week. So I get a lot of girlfriends. If you need girlfriend, just send me a DM. I will matchmake you. <laughs> Is there any other question from anybody? Oluwa Show, send me a DM. Join our cohort so that we can talk more. But you can send me a DM on WhatsApp. Just say, Abigail, I'm expecting your DM. If you don't send me a DM, I will come to your house and we'll fight. Is it that you remove my teeth or I'll remove your teeth? Only I show you to send me a DM. Let me see you in class on Friday. So uh, you must come to my DM. If you did not come, is it that I remove your teeth or you remove my teeth? Once more, one must happen. But if you are married, I beg. I beg, don't let your husband break my head. So if you are married, don't let your husband break my head. You understand? We can just talk on it. We are friends. You are not my girlfriend. We are friends. So is there any other question before we call it a day? Is there any other question before we call it a day? Is there any other question? Is there any other question? I've gotten two girlfriends now. Who else would like to become my girlfriend? Yeah. If you are not married, if you know you are single, please. Okay, okay, okay. Any question before we call it gay? I'm going, I'm, I want to be going now. I want to be going now. Is there any other question? So if you are here to join, you can, if you are part of the very first 50 people, you are going to get a bonus, right? These are the bonus. You are going to get Python, all my recorded classes. Enoch, no problem, sir. No problem. All my recorded classes. I take classes every day. So you are going to get all my recorded classes on Python Essential as a bonus. You are going to get monetization of skill. Let me tell you, let me tell you how I start my own journey. I started by selling courses, right? 
when I start selling courses, I record courses and the likes. So I started by selling courses. After selling courses, I partnered with a lot of people and we were able to start something. So that is how we started. So as we all monetize our skill, you are going to learn it in celebration. You, I have a recorded video on full Microsoft Word. You are going to get that. Then I have a recorded video on full Power B, uh, PowerPoint. You are going to get that. Will today's recording be available for us? Yes, now. You are not paying. It's free. It's free. Um, Albert, send me a DM, Mr. Albert. I will attend to you in DM. Any other question? Mr. Bayomi, thank you for joining. Abdul Basit, Akikpelu Ruth. Akikpelu Ruth, nice meeting you. Mr. Halbert, nice meeting you. I can't greet everybody. My two girlfriends, Oluwa Sheon and Abigail, nice meeting you. We hope to talk more, right? Mr. Edwin, I have another Edwin in our data analysis class. Edwin Onoja, nice meeting you. Um... If I greet anybody, I did not greet my two girlfriends. I did not do it very well. So my two girlfriends come first. I have two girlfriends now. So um, Mr. Francis, right? Hope you are not jealous. I know Abigail will not be jealous. OK. Mr. John, Josie. Uh, OK, no problem now. Let's see. Marion, nice meeting you. Madam Mary. Um, a whole lot of people, I can greet all of you. We have about 180 people that join, but um, up to this time now, we have, must I have, it's not a must for you to have a laptop before you join, but I will advise if you can go to um, a cyber, cyber cafe to practice. So uh, to practice what you learn and do practical on that. So it will be um, much more faster and easier for you, but always, if you do not have a laptop, whenever you get a laptop, you have access to all the recorded video so that you can go through it. It's a lifetime asset. It's a lifetime asset. You have access to the And you have my number for life. I cannot change number because of you. So you can always send me a DM. You can always call me on phone to ask me any questions. So you can drop your payment proof in the group for you to be part of the very first 50 people so that um, we can start the class. The class will start on the... Can one blend physical with, with virtual? Taufik, you can come around to our physical location so that I will attend to you on that. So you can you can give me a call if you want to come to our physical location. My two girlfriend, if you are in Lagos, you must come to our physical location so that I can see your face, right? Nice one, nice one, nice one. Or we do a video call. You know I'm ugly, right? Okay. Uh, are we expecting today's recording? Sure, you get today's recording. Tonight, I'll make sure that I make it available tonight by the special grace of God. I will drop the slide, the data set, and the replay tonight in the group so that you can go through it. So, uh, my two girlfriends, we can do video call. If you want, to, if I want to see your face, you, you've seen my face. Let me see your face too. We can do video call so that we talk. If, if you are free or if you want to call me on video call, anybody can call me on video call. Whether you are male or female, you can call me on video call. So, we can talk. If you don't want to call on video call, you can call on voice call. You can talk on phone. Anyhow, you like it, right? You get what I mean? Okay, thank you, thank you very much. And um, you can drop your payment proof in the group. I would like to take my leave right now. Am I free to go? 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 The actual state of starting is on the 14th of this month. 14th of this month, by the special grace of God. 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. for Nigerian. And if you are in Ghana, it's 7.30 um, to 9 p.m. Ghanaian time. So that's that about that. Oh, we are, you are going to get, they are going to add it to a new group. So right now, once you drop your payment proof in the group, they will send you a form to fill, right? They will send you a form to fill. So once you fill the form, you will be added to a group, to the paid group. That is where all activities will be dropped the course outline and the likes, everything will be dropped. And the day to, for the class, on the day for the class, will be notified. You will get a Zoom link on the on that day so that you can join us live. So that is how. And after the class, you are going to get a replay that will be dropped in the group, in the paid group. So um, am I free to go now? Am I free to go now? I've been talking for over an hour now. My throat is paining me. <laughs> Uh, do you have, if you have any question, I can still answer. I can still answer. 
Is there any question from anybody before we call it today? Is there any question from anybody before we call it today? What is your number so that we can save it? My number is 0916648003. And you can pick it from the group also. You can also pick it from the group. And um, my number will also be dropped in the group. My number will also be dropped in the group so that you can send me a DM. You can drop your payment proof also in the group so that they will send you the registration form for you to start. What is your name? My name is Akim Abiodun. My name is Akim Abiodun. You are going to see me there, Akim Abiodun. That is my name, Akim Abiodun. That is my name. Um, let me show you the DFDP that I use. I use um, this thing. You can see um, this, this picture on my screen. That is what I use as my DP. So you can send me a DM. But if you send another person and any of the admin, if you send them a DM, tell them to send you my number. They will send it to you very easily. So you can send any of the admin a DM. You all have my contact. If you don't know how to pick it from the group, you can send any of the admin a DM. Then they will send you my contact. And my contact has also been dropped in the group. But you can pick my contact from any um, from the group. So thank you very, very much. And I like to call.